use it when they're in the kitchen. What they up to? Oh my god. Um <laughs> I think they're wanting to bake. <laughs> what a mess! <gasps> What's on Spud's face? God knows. Cocoa powder? That's your fault for getting the cocoa out yesterday. State of Satan hanging upside down from the bottle with a rolling pin. Ooh. Oh, is that a peanut butter kick cat? Mm. That. Don't push it. <laughs> no, I want to push it. <laughs> is, I think. Uh, confetti soap. When you're in the shower you push it up a wee bit to get some of the soap flakes out and you use that to wash yourself. No, that isn't soap, that's just confetti. What? That's just confetti, it's not soap. No, it should be soap. It does look... She was right, it was normal confetti. <laughs> I picked it up thinking it was a shower confetti because it was beside the one that I got Abby. <laughs> I think you're right, it's just confetti. Keep that for Christmas Eve. That'll be fun. No, we'll push it now. No, you're not going to push it now. No, not on a school day. <laughs> I can bring it to school. You could. <laughs> Just don't do it in a class or on the bus. You'll get in big trouble. <laughs> Finally got one with something in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's been empty for days. Tree. A tree. Yay! <laughs> yeah, look. Look at the co cookie cutter. On Sunday, Dad's working when we make the gingerbread men. We're going to do it as a challenge with Christine and we need to do well because we need to beat her. <laughs> what are the, what is it all? I don't know what this is. It's a good turtle. Looks like a rabbit. <laughs> Maybe that should be on an Easter one. <laughs> I've got no idea what that is. What's the other ones? That'll be a holly leaf, I think. Mm. <laughs> oh, another gingerbread man! Yoda. Yoda! <laughs> I think it's meant to be an angel. <laughs> oh! Where's <laughs> arms? <laughs> there! That's oh no, it's wings. wings! It's not got arms, it's an armless angel. It will not do any cane. harm! Yeah, okay. Candy cane? <laughs> do you want to take out everything that's in the bag? So the social worker brought this for group yesterday. <gasps> oh wow! Yay! Yeah. Christmas games, what can we play on Christmas Eve? What is there? Xmas Straits, Santa's Sack, Xmas Lists, Santa Says, Bah Humbug, Under the Tree. Pretend it's still Christmas. <laughs> Silent Night, Xmas Trivia. Yay! Oh that'll be fun on Christmas Eve and through the holidays with Grand and stuff. A random bag. A random bag? Is there anything in it? It looks like a makeup bag. Or a toiletry bag. Yeah, no, Jack, that was exactly my thoughts. What a mess. I thought you'd done <laughs> I think it's cocoa powder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a toiletry bag. It's very peacocky. I've already had a couple out of this. Oh, have you now? Yes, I have. You're taking that to school to share with your friends, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. That's why I didn't eat all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can have sworn I ate less than that. Uh -huh. It's always the same. The cat's <coughs> always been at it. Just a pencil case. A what? Pencil case. Oh, let me see. That's fab. What a lovely gift. That was really nice, wasn't it? I'm looking forward to playing the games. Hello, puppies. Hello. Everyone.
welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. I hope you're all well. I am so sorry that the vlog ended quite suddenly last night. I had been falling asleep on the couch and I was just about to go to my bed and I was like, ah, I've not ended the vlog. So I didn't really get a chance to tell you what had happened at the doctor. Um, it was good, I would say. It was positive in that she was happy to talk to the doctor on her own. So I don't know how much she actually spoke, <laughs> but um, once they'd spoken, the doctor shouted me in and he explained to me that he'd said to Brooke that he's going to refer her to CAMS. He thinks that they definitely do need to see her. He's going to do it on a five day referral. So that's quite an urgent one. And um, hopefully we'll get a phone call in the next few days. I would imagine it will be the start of next week now because this is Friday. So hopefully we'll get a phone call at the start of next week to say that they'll see her. And they also said that it should be face to face. So that is good as well. So that's quite positive. That is good. And I also mentioned that the social worker appeared. Now she'd said at the meeting the, the day before that she was going to try and come. She was going to try and get a support worker to come with her um, to see if the support worker could build up a relationship with Brooke to you know, get her trust and take her places and things like that. But I messaged the social worker yesterday to say we've got um, the doctor straight after school, so don't bother coming. Unfortunately, the social worker didn't pick up the message, so she turned up at 20 past four. Brooke usually gets in about half four, so I was just about to get my shoes on, to get in the car, to get Brooke. And I was like, oh my God. And she had brought gifts for Brooke as well, which you would have seen this morning which was lovely and so I had a quick chat with her she told me she had already started um, actioning the points from the day before which is good this social worker seems to really be on the ball compared to the ones before so that was really good and she said if you don't mind I'll just wait and have a wee quick word with Brooke and I'm like oh no because I told Brooke I would get her in the car so she, we, we waited and Brooke came in. She had a very quick word with her because Brooke doesn't speak. And then the social worker left. We got straight in the car and the social worker was sitting where, it, it's quite a tight driveway, it's where the social worker was sitting. I couldn't get past her and I sat and I sat and I thought, is she filling out paperwork? Because her lights were on. And eventually I had to toot because I thought, we're going to be late. And she got out the car and came over and she went, it's the first time I've driven this car and I don't know what I'm doing. The parking brake's stuck on. I don't know how to get it off. And I was like, oh my God. And so my dad came out of the cabin and went over to her and eventually it took about five minutes for them to suss it out. And she bunny hopped her way along the driveway. I thought, oh, she really shouldn't be driving that. But I phoned the doctors anyway and said, look, we're running a bit late. We're stuck behind a broken down car. We'll be there as soon as we can. So I was stressed by the time we got to the doctor's. And then when the doctor had said it was going to be an urgent referral, I was pleased but a wee bit stressed by that as well. Once I had finished in the, the doctors, we went to the borough hall, we voted, which was really easy, really quick because there was nobody else in and came home. But by that time I was like, oh my God, just let me sit. So we sat and... These dogs are doing my head in this morning already. We sat and we watched Miracle on 34th Street, or we started to, and I was falling asleep. Not because it's a boring film. I love that film. I was just so tired. So, yeah, I do apologise that the vlog ended abruptly. Anyway, that's you all up to speed now. Apart from the fact Abby's got the dentist again today. They did say to her yesterday they wanted to see her again to give her teeth a really good scale and polish, um, especially around the gums because they're so inflamed and infected. So... They said that it would, they didn't have any spaces for ages. But they phoned yesterday to say, we've had a cancellation for tomorrow. Do you want to come in? So Abby's going back to the dentist this morning. And again, my dad's taking her. So that's good. Now, my plan for today, I was going to start wrapping Abby's stuff. But it's Jack's early finish today. So when he comes in from work, we're going to go to get Asda shopping and the dog food because we won't have time over the weekend. And there's a couple of bits and pieces that I need to get to finish my Christmas shopping completely. So I'm going to get them this afternoon as well. So I thought there's no point in me starting wrapping just for a couple of hours. What I'm going to do instead, there's a couple of things that I still need to make with my Cricut. A couple of things are for the elves and one thing is for something that I'm personalising for Jack. So I'm going to get on with that this morning and anything that I manage to do, I will show you. I am now going to do the music clue. I forgot this morning um, 
Oh, that was another nightmare. You would have seen that the elves had been in the cupboard and spilled all the flour and made a mess. But one of the elves had actually been climbing up the cupboard door with them um, bows, like using bows like a climbing rock. I'll put a photo in for you. So I had done it, but I thought the bows aren't very sticky because yesterday when they were playing knots and crosses on the, the wall, I noticed one had fallen off. So I put double-sided tape on them just to make them super sticky. And I had, it was about one o'clock in the morning that I sorted it. So I came through just before I got Abby at, at Brooke up this morning to make sure it was all still fine. And it was, and I thought, great. But by the time we went in the kitchen, it had fell off. And I was like, oh, typical. So it lost the full effect. Um, but you would have seen anyway that the elves brought the cookie cutters as well. So um, we're going to make the gingerbread men on Sunday, but at least the cookie cutters are there. And I'll try to get ingredients this afternoon for making cookies. Just any chance that we get. Anyway, let's go on with this song. I'm such a haver. Right. Today is Guess a Song from Random Lyrics. La 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 la. So I'm going to tell you some lyrics from a Christmas song and you have to tell me what song the elves are talking about. The lyrics are Wish I could be dancing now in the arms of the girl I love. Okay? Wish I could be dancing now in the arms of the girl I love. That's today's lyrics. What song is it from? Please put your answer in the comments below. Right, I'm going to go and get on with what I was doing and I will come back to you when it's hot chocolate time. Right. See, see, I'm going to have the orange one from the Me To You collection that I got at B&M because you know how much I love chocolate orange. Yee. Right, apologies if you can hear the tumble dryer. Does it smell very orangey? I put myself on the naughty list today, as you can see by the mug, for not finishing my vlog properly last night. <laughs> Right, let's give it a stir and see if it smells any better. I can smell the orange now that it's in the milk. It's nice. Definitely get the orange. It's not very sweet. But yes, I could drink that. I'll give that an 8 out of 10, I think. So all of the vinyl for Jack's dinner tray is cut out and weeded. So I'm going to enjoy this. Reply to some of your comments and then I will go and put it on the tray and show you what it's like. Hello, it is 5 to 11. Abby is away back to the dentist. Oh, she's so crabby. <laughs> I know she's in pain, but my God, pain and moody teenagers don't mix well. Um, I thought I would just show you where I'm at with the tray. Now, we you probably know we sit in front of the telly with our dinner. We don't sit around the table or anything. It's just the type of people that we are. And... We both have a tray, or we both had a tray for sitting with our uh, dinner on our knee. But we don't know what's happened to Jack. It's disappeared. Jack's, it's disappeared. We reckon it's probably in Abby's room somewhere. So I decided for his Christmas that I would buy him a new one. Oh, sorry about that light. It's annoying me. Um, so I just picked up a plain tray from b and It was £6 just for a plain wooden grey tray. And thought I would put something quite funny on it for him. And we both like friends. So the one thing that popped into my mind was Joey doesn't share food. So I decided to play on that and I will turn it round, turn you around and let you see what it's like so far. Hey, hey, so it says Jack doesn't share food except with the dogs, which is true because he always shares his food with the dogs. But that is how it's looking just now. And I'm thinking because there's quite a big gap down here, I'm going to see if I can get maybe like a sort of cartoony image of each breed of dog and put it down there. I think that might be quite nice. I will need to put some sort of protective coating over it so that it can get wiped clean and things and the vinyl doesn't come off. But um, I'll probably just use Mod Podge or something. But yeah, I'm liking that. I think you'll think that's quite funny. So I'm going to see if I can get wee pictures of the dogs to put on there and I'll come back to you once and that's done. another tree ornament bites the dust. I've not investigated yet to see which one it is. I just came through, spotted that, then looked at his bed. I don't know what one it is. It seems to be the wooden ones he's going for. He does like to try and choose sticks, which obviously we don't let him do, but he does like to do that. So I'm thinking he's think like, oh, there's a nice stick to chew. Did you do that? Was that Hugo? What did the puppy do? Oh no. 
It was the old storm with the angel wings. I'm really miffed now. That was our husky one that we got when storm passed away. Oh, blooming dog. Gonna have to put all the wooden ornaments higher up on the tree. The problem is he's so tall that he can reach pretty much all the way up. Not funny. You're a bad boy. Abby is back from the dentist, but her whole face is swollen because I've numbed her, mo her mouth up. So she's keeping her mask on so that she doesn't scare anyone. <laughs> Here's your elf present today. Your advent present. <laughs> My advent present. Aw, Molly. <laughs> oh, Molly. Oh, Molly. Can I help you? Can I help you? Poor Abby can't even speak because she's so swollen and... Mum. Right, Clyde. Oh, Clyde. Oh, Clyde's all worried about her. You're such a good I've boy. I've got and chocolate sitting here and you still stuff on I food. know. Oh. I'm eating these tonight. You're eating them tonight? Mm -hmm. Well, you'll be able to just break bits off and suck mm -hmm. it. Oh. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Ooh. Ooh, Hugo. <coughs> uh, I ho, don't ho, think so, Hugo. Ho. <laughs> ho ho no! Oh, okay. It's another oh, wee key light holder. But it's cute. not a specific Christmas one, so you can keep that out all year round. And I can put. Hugo, really? He's like, that's wood, I'll chew it. Like everything else off the tree. <laughs> Good tell him, Clyde. I can put. I can decorate it with stuff if you want. Ooh. <laughs> Celtic? Yeah, I can put some Celtic stuff mm -hmm. on it if you want. <laughs> Whatever you want to go in your room. Oh. <laughs> well, come all oh, puppies. Right, I'm going to see what wee Nippy's saying. Well, that was half an hour wasted. Wee Nippy just likes to sound our own voice. Um, I've just watched basically half an hour of her saying nothing new. Just how important it is that we all stay, as ho stay at home as much as possible. We need to protect other people. It's all just a guilt trip. I don't know. It just makes me angry. I don't know why I watch it. And from that whole thing about you must stay at home, you sh shouldn't be socialising, you must work from home, not one thing mentioned about kids in schools. Not one thing. When's she going to learn? You know, the last time schools were closed and the numbers went down. Schools opened and the numbers went through the roof. When are they going to learn? Surely they've got enough resources to be able to do schooling from home again now. I hated it. I absolutely hated having to homeschool. But I would rather that than the figures rising and we end up going on another lockdown. Oh, and now she's saying, um, you know, yes, we understand you want to be with loved ones on Christmas Day. Make sure you test before you're together and then make sure that you stay at home as much as possible after Christmas Day so that if the virus has been transmitted on Christmas Day, we're not spreading it further. So what you're saying is, yeah, you can have Christmas Day, but we're locking you down after that. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just, I'm not going to rant. It just, it's all totally crazy to me. Anyway. I'm now way behind. I've managed to get pictures of the, well, I've managed to get images of the dogs that I want to go on that tree, but I've not cut them out yet. So I'm going to do that just now. And the things that I wanted to do for the elves, I've not even started on. Jack home, so I've had to quickly turn it over. I was on the very last dog as well. <laughs> so I'm in the car, we're heading off now to get dog food and as and the last bits and pieces of Christmas shopping, yay! Um, we're taking the car because when I had Abby out the other night, I was desperately needing petrol. But because it was after midnight, everywhere was shut. Even the garages that had paint pump were shut. So I'm making Jack drive the car because I'm terrified we're going to run out of petrol. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed for us. <laughs> so we've made it to the wee tiny village garage, which is going to be extortionate, but we'll just put enough in to do us until we get to Clyde Bank. <laughs> At least we've not run. <laughs>
I've put the shopping away. I have got the mother of all headaches. There's a million things that I'm meaning to do before tomorrow, but my head's too sore. So I'm just going to get up early and do it tomorrow. We'll take you to work, Abby, if you're going. Abby's still not very well. Still in agony. Um, but your face isn't quite as swollen now. I take it the numbness has worn off. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and end this vlog. I'm going to go to my bed. I don't care that it's only half six. I'm going to my bed. I'm going to edit this vlog and just hopefully watch Deck the Halls unless I'm flake out. <laughs> I think, to be honest, I think my headache is dehydration because all I've had to drink this afternoon is the coffee that I got at Costa. Um, I've not even eaten my gingerbread muffin yet, so I'll be eating that in my bed. And that's me. Finished everything that I need to get for my shopping. Woohoo! Christmas is done. Yay! So, yeah. Loads of stuff to do tomorrow. Not even organised for... But, hey-ho. <laughs> Just need to make it up as I go along. I'm going to turn you around and let you see the finished tree that I was making earlier on today. So there it is. So that was a bit that you saw and then that's a bit that I've added. Molly, Hugo, Willa and Clyde. I'm really pleased with the way that's turned out. I've not put the sealer on it yet. I can do that later. That's not urgent. But yeah, quite like that. Oh, wait, now I've got an air bubble. I need to get rid of that air bubble, that'll annoy me. <laughs> yes, that is everything for today. The traffic was a nightmare, as there was a nightmare. Christmas is definitely kicking in. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to head off because I'm havering now. So, don't forget to put your answer to today's music quiz in the comments below. Please hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 19. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. I think I say that every day. <laughs> Bye! Ho, 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 ho.